So as I have been talking about on several of my Sunday videos is a lot of the things that are going on. You're going to see my Walmart trip that I did yesterday, how merchandise is everywhere. Aisles are blocked. You can't get down them because they just have pallets of stuff sitting there. Now, they don't have room on the shelves and you're going to see that the aisles are shrinking and shrinking. I mean, it is just getting a little bit out of control. These poor people can't keep up with it. That's the problem. But how long will the good times last? You're also going to see some high prices on meat. And you're going to see where the empty shelves are and what produce looks like and everything else. And I hope you enjoy this video. You're going to see these pallets that are right behind you on these shelves that are stacked three high. The shelves go all the way up to the ceiling and there is stuff everywhere all the way down that corridor and everything else. But you can see how there is no room. They can't use those docks over there because they're blocked. They have to get this stuff out of here. There's too much product. Now I'm in Walmart and this is going down the cat food aisle here and you can see that the dry food is hurting pretty bad it's just in pretty sad shape here folks um, we're going down towards the garden center right now there is pallets and pallets of stuff everywhere throughout the store we just passed one right there you come on down through and the, the garden center is is a huge maze everything is blocked these huge pallets of stuff they have no place to put it. There's another pallet over here with a bunch of stuff. And we're going to come down through these aisles. Can't get down this aisle here because it's blocked. Can't get down this aisle here. It's blocked. This guy's putting out one box. There's a pallet right there. We're coming over here. Now, if you're looking to get toys for your kids and stuff, maybe for Christmas, I have never seen the toy section so full. Now, it is full all the way up top shelves at the whole nine yards. And I bet you anything, folks, that a lot of this product was supposed to be here last year. So this is last year's Christmas presents that never made it. Now, when you come down these aisles, you can't ac go across. Everything is blocked. There's pallets and pallets and pallets of stuff. What is going on? I'll tell you what is going on. Everything is getting delivered to these stores now and they have no place to put it it is just piled up everywhere throughout the whole store it doesn't matter if it goes in that area or not it's just stacked up they have coolers and coolers they have acs they have everything that you can imagine this has to be last year's stock we're going over here to automotive real quick just to check out over here well well, well more pallets who would guess and another pallet you know i mean there is just no room these poor people are just driving themselves nuts there's bins of stuff look at all this product that is just spread out down through here you come down through here it's just product after product after product now we come down this aisle here. You see we got more stuff and trash cans. Look at the freaking trash cans, folks. I mean, it's just piled everywhere. Mason jars. Boy, I tell you what, my Walmart's got more mason jars than you can shake a stick at. Let me look right here. I mean, there's a whole pallet of it. I had to go around it because I had to get a little thing of plastic bowls from Rubbermaid there. You know, and I mean, you can't get down the aisles. You just can't do it. You know, you go down through here and there's just no relief in sight for these poor people. There is no way that any they don't have a chance to get all this stuff put away before they unload the next trucks. It's just not going to happen. These people must be going crazy. Now we're coming down through here. We're heading towards the grocery section. Typical Walmart. So we're over here in the produce. Produce wasn't too bad. It was pretty well stocked. Now, there was a few items that were, eh, you know, but I mean, for overall, it was looking pretty good. At least they did have some stuff on the shelves. Um, they did have a, a little bit of shortage and stuff on a few things, but overall, the corn was hurting big time. There wasn't hardly any corn and what was in there looked about like it should be thrown in the trash. 
and there was no onions and all that kind of stuff. They did have my tomatoes that I like. I love these tomatoes, folks. Those are really good. You got to try some of those if you're not growing your own. But as you can see, the onions and stuff, they didn't really have a lot. Now, here is Mr. Friendly, and watch what this guy does. All right, folks, I could not believe this. So let's follow him over here. All right. Dun, 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 dun. I'm slowing this down, too, so you can see. Watch down. Right there, he's picking up this thing, and he throws it in with the food. He throws it in with the food, folks, off the floor. Are you kidding me? Really? Unreal. And then we have the dog food and cat food that's coming out of the meat department. I was kind of scratching my head on that one. I was just wondering if they just made it out back. But who knows? But, all right, back to the video. We're over here. Two pounds of hamburger um, is $9.48, $5.14 for a pound. And that's Walmart's eighty twenty Steaks, holy cow, even at Walmart. You know, these steaks. Ten forty-seven a pound for T-bone steaks. Unreal. If you want ribeyes, now if you want ribeyes, holy cow! But phew, look at the prices on this: fifteen ninety-seven a pound for the thin ribeyes. It's just amazing. They had some steaks and stuff on the shelves and stuff, but the prices of it was just astronomical, folks. I mean, just ridiculous. You go down through here, there's hardly any pork. They have pork tenderloins, a few packages of pork chops. Um, not really much to really think about here. The shelves were empty. You're seeing it right here, folks. You're seeing it firsthand, you know. And we get down here. and Now we're going into Sam's. And this way here, you all can see what's going on in Sam's back room. I'm going to walk in and we are slowing this down. And oh, look at that. What is that? That's pallets that are stacked. Oh, what's that? Like five high. And that goes all the way back to the other wall. All right, folks. So don't tell me that there's nothing in Sam's back room. All right. That right over there is the wall where I came in and this is all the goods now unfortunately yes this is a little blurry and i apologize but my camera is attached to me and i'm moving around and 